Hello and welcome back to Checkpoint Jumpstart training on the Maestro Hyperscale Network Security Solution. In this video, I will demonstrate how to create, populate, and apply a security group via the command line interface and then use that security group in policy. So I am on the Maestro Hyperscale Orchestrator right now in Clee Shell. And I will add security group. add appliances to the security group. Again, uh, in Clee Shell, tab completion will helpfully provide the serial numbers. So I've added two security gateway modules to the security group. Now I will add interfaces to the security group. I've added a management interface. Oh, I will add uplink interfaces. I will add the first time wizard settings. So at this point, I have configured the security group via the command line interface almost but not completely. I've set up the first time wizard configuration. The remaining thing to do before I apply this security group configuration is to set the single management objects network properties. Now I will apply this new configuration.
So the orchestrator has validated the new security group configuration, distributed the configuration to the security gateway modules that have been added to the security group. Those security gateway mod modules will install the new configuration and restart themselves. So I'll pause until the restart is complete and the single management object is ready to answer the web user interface. Now the single management object of the new security group is responsive answering the IP address assigned to it. So I can connect to it with the web user interface and configure the traffic ports. I'll set the session timeouts to be ridiculously long. Now, configure the uplink traffic interfaces. That's two of the three interfaces configured. And now I will go to the Smart Console application and create an object to represent the single management object in policy. Usually a good idea to use the same name that you provided the security group. Install or establish SIC. That will fetch the topology. Now I will install policy to the new security group as well as the existing security group. So policy installation is in progress. I'll pause until it completes. So policy has been installed successfully. And now I'll be able to access blogs and everything that you would expect to access on a security gateway.